All right, uh, what we're going to be doing right now is doing a really quick introduction to what factoring is, uh, and then we'll be looking at the different types of factoring uh, in different lessons. Um, factoring is essentially the opposite of simplifying. Um, so for example, to go from x minus 3 uh, times 2x plus 1, to go from that product uh, to the expression 2x squared minus 5x minus 3, that's called simplifying. And just to remind you of how you could do that, you would just expand it and collect like terms. So you'd have 2x squared uh, plus x minus 6x minus 3, which is 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. And as you can see, that is our simplified uh, version of that product. Um, to go the reverse direction from the simplified expression to the factors, essentially, that's called factoring. And that process is a little bit more difficult and a little bit more different. Um, one method that you can use for factoring is to take the simplified expression and to create some sort of area. So in this particular case, um, you can see right here that what I have is an area. And that area is the product of x minus 3 times 2x plus 1, or in other words, x minus 3 times 2x plus 1. Uh, as you can see, that is 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 if you look at what we have here. Uh, these are 2x squareds. These are minus 6x's. This here is a plus x, and these here are a minus 3. So if I collect those like terms, I'm left with 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. So one method of factoring is to take the simplified expression and to create an area. We may have to introduce zero pairs in order to create an area. Uh, we're just going to look at two examples, and that will be it. Um, as our first example, it says factor the following and check by simplifying. We're going to factor the expression 2x minus 6. Uh, so what we're going to do is take these two x's and the minus 6 and see if we can create an area. In this particular case, uh, to do that, here's what we would do. Uh, we don't need any extra algebra tiles to create this area. Our area would look something like this. And this area, just to be exact with you, is 2 times x minus 3. I'll write that here. This is 2, and this here is x minus 3. So our factors are 2 and x minus 3. Um, the way we can check that is, again, by simplifying. If we simplify this, we would get 2x minus 6. And as you can see, that's the same as the simplified expression. So here, 2 times x minus 3, that's called your factored form. Uh, if we look at one that's slightly more difficult, and we'll get into more difficult ones as we move along, uh, if it says factor x squared plus 2x minus 8, I have an x squared, 2x's, and minus 8 here. Uh, if we try to create an area properly, you'll see that it's actually not completely at the moment possible. Um, let me show you kind of how we're going to create that area. First thing we're going to do is... Uh, if I could do it properly, begin to create the area. And we'll show you how we can use zero pairs to uh, complete the area. Uh, so at this particular moment, uh, you can see that I'm starting to create an area. Uh, but the question is, what do I need to add to finish this area? Because I have my minus 8 in the corner here. In order to do that, what I'm going to do is introduce these zero pairs. If I add two positive x tiles and two negative x tiles to create an area, I haven't changed the actual value. And you'll see how that's useful. Uh, what I'm going to do is, sorry, uh, add the two positive x tiles up here and the two negative x tiles over here. And you'll see that that actually completes this area properly, because these two negatives times those four positive equals negative 8, uh, and we still have the same value. So our factors here in this particular case are x plus 4 and x minus 2, or in other words, x plus 4 
times x minus 2. And we could check that. Uh, that's our factored form. We could check that by expanding and simplifying. We would have x squared minus 2x plus 4x minus 8. And simplify to be x squared plus 2x minus 8. As you can see, that is equivalent to the original simplified form. So our factors here would be x plus 4 and x minus 2. That's our factored form. Uh, so as you can see from this lesson, uh, factoring is the opposite of simplifying. Factoring can be done by creating an area with algebra tiles. And finally, factoring can be checked by simplifying.